I think it was like mid mid to late April where we had been rehearsing under the guise of, you know, we're gonna do what we can through this platform in order to prepare us to be together. Go one, two, three, four. That um, hope of being together kept getting pushed back. The most important thing for us as, as educators and uh, myself, Ms. Jess and Mr. Mark was acknowledging how much in these children's lives was being taken from them. And we just said, there's got to be something that we can do other than just saying, now's not the time. Our show is technically supposed to be in June. At what point do we just call it and say, we need to do this all virtual? You start saying, okay, no one has ever had to do this before. We had originally signed up to do um, to audition for Moana, but then we found out that the auditions were going to be what? Virtual. Around March 13th, the whole world just shut down. So all of a sudden, I had we have a family of six, and everybody was home. We didn't know what to do. The virtual audition. It was pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> so we held our callbacks through Zoom. And during a callback, you're usually looking for the full body physicality. And, and obviously we could only see this. God of the wind and sea. I am Moana of hero of men. What? There were challenges from the kids within their own families of navigating. If I go into this closet, hopefully the cat won't jump on me. And if I move to the basement office, um, the Wi-Fi will be the strongest because it's next to the router. Here we go. Both hands down. One. You're trying to kind of juggle 43 people and how that impacts the final picture, which is ultimately why we decided to not even try to stream it live. So then that's why we ended up kind of just going more down a route of filming and, and editing it together. Consider the coconut. Yeah, it was definitely different because we, you know, we couldn't all be together and you know, it was, it was harder to like, you know, choreograph certain things and, and block scenes. And they really made it like we were together and like really they just made it work. We had to film every single kid individually in their little box at home and hope that we could get through that 30 second clip or whatever it was without there being a glitch. When everything happened with COVID, um, it all fell out from under us, right? So all of a sudden he didn't have school to go to and he was just home and he wasn't really socializing. And so when this opportunity came along to try out for Moana, um, I think it really gave him an opportunity to see other kids. It gave him, you know, it yeah. gave him a purpose for, for a period of time. I think that was really valuable for him. So what we were saying is, this again is the closest thing to being on stage in a virtual way. So Daisy, what happens is Daisy, press your stop video button. So do you see Daisy, how you could still see all of us? Yes. So this is like you being in the wing on the stage, watching from the side. Some of the most exciting creativity came out of this situation because they were forced to ironically think outside the box about how am I going to tell this story in a different way. You know, I think we saw a spectrum of, of having to be their teachers, having to be their friend, having to be their therapist, having to be their life coach. Well, we actually had COVID in the house in the very beginning. Um, so while this, the whole pandemic was happening, I actually was, I had it and I was really lucky that I got a very mild case, but the whole house was exposed doing Moana just was it was a lifesaver for us it really was because it got us through it and it was it was a great distraction for her moana was really just like the one thing that i had where i could just like escape to just another world and just and just forget for just even if for just for like an hour or two i could just like forget about all the stuff that was happening and just be in the moment and just it made me really happy i i, I think what i saw were kids just really 
using the arts as this outlet in whatever way that they could in order to do what they love. Every morning through every night, you were just practicing with me <laughs> the song. They, they kind of told us, you know, we're gonna put, um, you know, we're gonna imagine Zoom screens, screens in a grid, but um, the way that they actually produced the whole thing was way beyond what we thought uh, would be possible. So it was really impressive. Did you feel like your hard work paid off? I felt like I was famous. <laughs> <laughs> What was so cool about this experience was the performer got to watch it right next to their parent. No one has ever been in a scenario where they're watching something for the first time in a theatrical setting um, and getting to experience it with their family and their friends next to them, supporting them and feeling that energy. Our job is to persevere and figure out a solution to every challenge to not just talk about hope, but really show them what hope is.